Hey guys, Jacob here. So, first of all, sorry for not uploading lately. I've had a lot of stuff been going on, um, and I've been really busy. Also, don't mind that noise in the background. I got a new 3D printer and is currently printing something. So, without further ado, I am back with another custom design that I made. This is another 3D printed puzzle. It is called, I call it, um, the seven wheel puzzle, because, well, I think you can see why. It is a heptagonal prism with a cylinder coming out of each side, and how it turns is you got the top and bottom halves turn, and also each of these wheels turn. So how you scramble it is all these little wedge pieces can all like interchange with each other. So you can like do that. It's pretty easy to solve. Um it's a nice fun little puzzle to solve. So, let me show you how it works. So to take it apart, you take you pull the top cap off. And then this is what it looks like. You got seven different sections, each a different color. And if you take one out, it's kind of like a cake almost. If you so this is what a section looks like. So the part that m moves the entire thing around um, is a rail. This is a design that I came up with. Um, it is a right trapezoid rail. I thought this was would be a good idea because not only does it have low friction, but it's also easier to get into and clean out. The only downside of it is that it can be a little unstable, but it's overall a pretty good design. And as far as the wheels go, a very similar thing. Oops. Um so these have like a a revolved right trapezoid and they and they fit into there and rotate. So, I'm going to fix the, put this back together real quick, and then I'll show you one more thing. So, assembly is not that hard if you do it correctly. So, I have a couple of other prototypes of this puzzle. The first one, this is the third prototype. The first prototype looks like this. It is smaller and completely black. It works, um, it works okay, but the wheels are super unstable, like, like these pieces come out pretty easily, but the pieces are essentially the same. The second prototype between these two is this one, which looks very similar to the final one. The only difference, as far as looks goes, is the green. Because, if you look closely, this one has a darker green, and this one has a lighter green. So, this one, um, is, it works, but it is very loose and unstable. Because, like, everything 
Everything is just very loose. Like, you can barely turn it without it falling apart. So, I obviously went in and changed the tolerances, made the, everything a little bit tighter, and ended up with this. And I'm happy with how it turned out. So, I hope you guys like the puzzle, um, and expect more in the future. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.